So that happened. That was our first ever governance vote. What do you think? How, how did it go? It was a really, really busy time for us. But I, I think all in all, it went really well for the first time that we've ever done this. Yeah, I was really surprised about how many people participated from our community. Like, it felt like everyone came out. And I think we even 6 x our audience. Yeah, the, the numbers that we saw the community growing over yeah. the voting period as compared to just before it. I think it was about 6x the number of new members coming on board. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, and one of the things I really liked that we got was a lot of feedback throughout the process, which we could, we managed to incorporate some of it during the vote and obviously it'll help us for the next one as well. So all in all, a really, really good first time. Yeah, I thought so too. So I was really genuinely surprised about how many votes that we got in general. Like what was the final tally of that? I think in, in terms of number of SHX that ended up voting as a valid vote, it was 210 million, give or take, right? Right. So tell me about what, what do you think we should do for the next one? I think one of the big questions that I have for next time is where is that proposal going to come from? Or, or going forwards, where are those proposals going to come from? You know, obviously we put the first one forward, but in future we're going to have to find a way to make even the process of coming up with the questions more inclusive to the community, right? Yeah, that's right. How do you think other crypto projects do that? Or like, who does it well? There's a lot of <laughs> DeFi projects that I like. I probably won't try and pick, you know, my favorites here, but a, a lot of them have forums. I've noticed where they'll, they'll talk about things. So you'll, you'll see people talk about things on the Discord. And I have actually seen in our Discord some people coming up with some you know beginnings of ideas which is cool mm -hmm. but i think we need a space where people can write down you know hey this is what i think is a really good idea and then let people actually comment on that sort of in a single thread so i think that model might be something that we can start looking at bam maybe we should vote on a forum oh there we so go there's an interesting idea <laughs> number two maybe yeah yeah maybe what surprised you the most for this voting event while well, coming up to the vote, I think the thing that struck me first was that there's a lot of infrastructure that was missing, right? We were building on top of the Stellar Ledger, which is fantastic for payments, mm -hmm. but it is missing a lot of the functionality that you'd see on like an EVM chain like Ethereum. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of work that we had to do, but we did get there and I think it was an acceptable voting experience at the end of the day. So the results came in and in the end, it came through, it was a very strong for the burn and it's 70% as the proportion to burn. Mm -hmm. Is that surprising to you? It was not surprising to me at all. I think over the years, a lot of people have been asking when we were going to burn some of the supply because obviously that makes the token a little bit more unique and deflationary. And so I think that the community has been you know, asking that question for a long time. So I was not surprised whatsoever that I came back at that number. I was actually surprised that it was not 80%. Well, if I could be I hope this isn't controversial, but I wish that the burn proportion was going to come out a little lower. I was hoping for something more like 50-50. I think thinking from the, the business side, there is certainly a case where I think we need to keep that incentive mechanism there for the capital contributors. So I think 50 would have been a nice balance, but with the rates coming down overall, I think it will still be a really good, you know, really good deal for our, our merchants. What do you think our community can expect to see next? I think the two big things that the community will see us doing, one, implementation of this vote. I think there's still a question that we're you know, talking about internally is how quickly do we get this on top of Stella? Or is that even the right thing to do, mm. right? Saraban's coming out. You never want to be one of the first players on something new as well. That's you know not a good idea, especially when we're moving money. Never a good idea. So we'll be watching like what happens with Stellar and Soroban really closely to see if that's a stable platform for us to put smart contracts in. And then you can see more of the MCA program actually moving there. Without that, it's going to be a little more difficult for us um, to, to put that on top of Stellar for now. So we're working on that and we'll see where that ends up. The second thing that we're going to be working on is ramping up for vote number two and how we want to do that going forwards. You know, we're continuing to reflect on all the learnings that we got out of this vote and trying to think about what will make it better, more inclusive in the future. But uh, yeah, all eyes on that Saruban release, it really changes a lot for us. Because we've been focused so much on just building the business, that means doing bank partnerships, 
payment network partnerships, merchants, and onboarding, you know, all these customers getting all these transactions on Stronghold Net. Like it was really nice to come back at the end of the year and then really realign ourselves back to our SHX community. On the fifth year anniversary. On the fifth year anniversary. Perfect timing. Yeah.